Hello and welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshri. Today we are going to learn about the serverless robot feature in UiPath. Okay, so many of you may have heard about like UiPath has introduced the server serverless robot in Orchestrate, right? So do you know what is servers serverless robots and how it is different from other robots? And what are the uses of these serverless uh, robots? And which are automation that we can execute using this uh, serverless uh, robots. So if you are not sure about uh, the use of this robot and if you stick with uh, configuring this uh, robot, please do watch the entire video. You will get a clear understanding about this serverless robot. Okay. So first of all, I have opened this documentation. So I will be sharing this link in the description as well. Okay. So you can go through this description to get uh, deep dive into uh, this feature okay so serverless automation cloud robot make it easy to run background automation without worrying about the necessary infrastructure okay so the name name itself is telling serverless robots so as we all know like what is the difference between an on-prem system and a cloud system the main difference is like if you want to set up a on-prem system we need uh, different devices right we need the memory to configure uh the system and uh, we need to worry about the hardware system as well but if you go to cloud it means we just need to uh worry about the development phase we don't need to worry about what is happening uh in the behind like we don't need to worry about the hardware on right so that is a true difference between on-prem as well as with the cloud service so the same approach is happening here as well like if i want to run something on a vm or in this concept, if I want to run it in my local, I need to first map the robot with my uh, uh, laptop or with my uh, local. Then I have to uh, make sure like my system is having the capability of executing this uh, automation. Right. So all these things that I need to keep in mind, like I need to configure, I need to uh, worry about the software and hardware capability of my machine. But if you are going with serverless robot, you don't need to worry about any of this thing. Okay, UiPath will take care of all those configuration parts. Okay, so what kind of automations we can execute with this serverless boards? So we can just execute only background automation. Okay, so if some automation which includes foreground, we cannot execute with this serverless uh, robots. So that we need to keep in mind. They provide you with complete freedom from provisioning managing maintaining and scaling any underlying infrastructure okay so if you want to think okay i need more memory to execute this uh, automation we have the provision provision for doing that okay or if you want to select it with auto, 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 uh, automatically you can choose that as well okay so your path handles all the work behind the scene so you don't have to deal with the containers okay virtual machine or physical servers so your path will take care of all this hardware or software part the only thing is you just need to create the automation flow and you can configure the uh, serverless robot to execute that automation okay so that is the only thing and here one more thing is like what are the different type of compatibility that we can run with a serverless robot so we can execute on the cross platform okay so we cannot execute windows or windows legacy projects using the serverless robot okay i hope you are getting that so executing unattended automation with serverless robot a background cross-platform automation project that has been published to orchestrator and added to the folder so it means like it should be automated uh, it should be a background process as well as it is developed with a cross-platform compatibility okay so that is mandatory and robot units available for the tenant for that particular uh, tenant robot units should be available that are the two things and uh, these things explain like how you can uh, enable the unattended automation for an uh, account at all okay so we'll be going through all these uh, steps uh, and i'll be sharing the link in the video as well video description as well okay so let me go to orchestrator first i will show you like how you can create a uh, machine with a, a serverless uh, cloud serverless uh, ro robot and then how you can assign that to a particular folder and then i will show you how you can configure that particular um, uh, robot to a process to execute a job okay so what we have to do first go to tenant then we need to create a machine okay click on machine okay then click on add machine here you can see cloud robot serverless right so just click on that 
and we need to give a template name so i'm going to give cloud serverless robot okay i'm not going to give any description at all so here you can see runtime license so what is this uh, runtime license so i'm not going to give any of these things so what is the runtime license or robot units so each time a job runs on this template uh, a robot unit will be uh, deleted from the total tenant bars okay so the, the number of robot unit deleted for each run depends on the maximum size configured on the process setting okay and the runtime uh, type selected when uh, starting a job or creating a trigger by default we will attempt to select the most appropriate size for the given process so it means like while uh, creating the process it will show you all this uh, type of robot unit okay so either you can automatically select that or if you want to select some particular machine size you can choose it okay totally depends on what size of um, automation that you are going to execute okay and runtime type is cloud serverless to run jobs under the cloud robots serverless template associated with the folder select this runtime in the drop down when starting a job or creating a trigger it means like if you want to run a process or the cross platform process using a cloud serverless you need to choose this particular runtime okay yeah, so let me click on provision okay so we can see a new machine got created for the cloud serverless robots right so it's a type of cloud serverless cloud robot serverless so now what we need to do we need to assign this to our particular folder right for that this is my personal folder so let me click on this three dots and go to setting and assign machine and let me choose this cloud serverless robot okay and click on update okay so that's it so currently this uh, particular ro uh, cloud serverless robot is assigned to the uh, folder right now what is the next thing so just consider let me go to this folder <coughs> and i'm going to automation and i'm going to create a job okay <coughs> so okay so this is for post platform let me choose another one add a process <coughs> let me choose another process okay so just consider autobot demo this is not a cross platform project okay click on next next and uh, this one i'm going to give it like demo 11 <coughs> click on create start now and here in the runtime let me click on the runtime okay here you can see cloud serverless is there but this is disabled okay i am not able to choose this cloud serverless why because the project or the process that i created it is not of cross platform compatibility okay so that's why you are not able to choose the uh, cloud serverless option okay i hope you are getting so let me go back and what i'm going to do is let me create a new process okay i'm going to name it like cross or this name it like cloud robot serverless okay i'm going to choose the compatibility as a cross platform so this you need to keep in mind okay then click on create click on open main workflow and um, as i mentioned earlier like if you are going to use this cloud robot serverless it will support only uh, background process and in which system it is going to execute that is also unknown right so those part is handled by uh, ui path okay so either the process may be running in linux or it can be running in uh, unix or it can be running in windows so it totally depends on how ui path is going to uh execute your automation process okay they they can uh, choose any of this uh, uh operating system right because you are going to execute a cross platform project okay so what i'm going to do is let me use log message activity okay let me use a sequence let me try and drop this copy this again copy this again and uh, what should be the message system dot i'm just going to print the 
uh, system details okay then we can understand like in which machine this serverless robots are going to execute okay system dot environment dot what are the parameters that are available come in line current directory execute code okay machine name is there okay you can choose machine name let's copy the same thing and paste it over here so instead of machine name i'm going to use okay so just give os version okay so just paste the same command and instead of machine name let me use username okay so these are the three things that uh, uh, we are going to log and let me try to execute this okay so these are the details so the first step. what is the first details the machine name and what's the operating system and what is the user okay so we can see all these details now what i'm going to do is let me publish this okay let me publish this to orchestrator and we'll run it from there okay so i'm going to publish to my personal tenant feed the next then publish okay so publishing is successful let me go back to orchestrator add process okay let me choose the package it's cloud robot serverless right and the runtime entry point is main i am not going to change anything click on next okay display name i'm going to give it like cloud robot okay so that's it then here if you create a cross platform here at the bottom you can see a, uh, a drop down is there right cloud robot serverless so it means if you upload a uh, robot or if you upload a process of type cross platform you will get this option to select the cloud robot okay so here what you need to do either you can select any of these four categories of machine so small means i think it's around 1 gb standard means around 2 gb like that okay it will vary if you do it like automatic means based on your automation process it will choose a dynamic uh location okay so let me keep it like automatic okay control what machine size is used when running on a cloud robot serverless okay so if you are sure okay you need a large machine for executing automation process choose large okay but uh, if you keep it automatic means automatically you can take care of that one click on create okay now click on start now okay here uh, uh process name is cloud robot and run runtime is cloud serverless okay earlier when we tried to execute a uh, windows compatible project this was disabled now we can see cloud serverless is enabled okay so let me try to click on start okay we got some error what is this error it's faulted okay your tenants assigned the robots units have been uh, allocate more robot unit to your tenant to continue okay so earlier we got the error right uh, why because uh, for a particular tenant we can assign the number of robot units okay for uh, earlier for my, uh, my particular tenant it was assigned as two okay it means like for a month i can execute only two uh, automations using that particular uh, server's robot okay and total 300 is available for an organization so what i did is i assigned some 20 uh, robot units to the particular tenant automation okay now if i execute it should work fine uh, i will show you at the end like how you can assign more number of robot units to a particular tenant as well so click on start let us choose our uh, process cloud robot okay and the runtime is cloud serverless click on start okay now it is running so once you get complete the, uh, the running yeah just successful now click on view logs okay here you can see this is the machine name this is operating system and this is the user name 
so that is as per our uh, workflow right so the first one will give machine name and second one will give uh, voice version and the last one will give um, username so here you can see it has selected some uh, machine and it has selected some operating system that is unix okay it's not uh, windows so it means close platform can work in uh, any other platforms uh, other than to windows as well okay so it has dynamically filtered some operating system and some machine and some particular user okay so this is how the cloud cloud robots are going to uh, go and if there is any confusion regarding um, the configuration and the usage of cloud serverless robot please do comment in the comment section okay now i'm going to show you like how you can assign more robot unit to a particular direct for that let's go to uh, home Okay, click on uh, robots and services. Okay, so here you can see this robot unit is there, right? So earlier it was 2 of 300. It means for the particular tenant, I have assigned 2 robot unit for a month. Okay, but now I modified that to 20. That's why currently the orange is working. So if you want to modify that, what you have to do? Just click on manage. Okay, click on license. Okay, then Click on robot and services. Okay. Okay. Just click on this edit license. And the, here you need to modify. Okay. So earlier uh, two was the, and uh, here you can see how many have consumed. Ten is consumed, and out of uh, three hundred, right? So if you want to give more number of robot units, you can assign that to that particular. Then you just need to increase this number. Then your cloud robot is going with uh, execute. Okay, so that's it. I hope you're getting. And if there is any confusion regarding the configuration of the location of the robot you to put it in, please do comment in the comment section. I can help you. Okay. So if you find this video useful, please like the video, please share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.